Welcome to another Let's Play 1001 Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are checking out Rainbow Islands. This is the sequel to Bubble Bobble, and we're playing it on the Sega Master System because, hey, why not? Bubble Bobble in the book said it was an arcade game, but for the sequel, Rainbow Islands, it said platform colon various. And when it says various, that leaves it up to me to decide how we're going to play. And you know what? We haven't seen a Sega Master System game in a little while, and so I've decided that's what we're gonna do. So let's just go ahead here, get started. Alright, pro tip on the title screen of Rainbow Islands, it says press start, which is highly deceptive. It actually wants you to press button one. It would be nice if it actually said that on the title screen. So that's my first gripe with this game. I was actually uh, looking forward to playing Rainbow Islands. Uh, so here it is. This is my little dude here, and check out this sweet awesome power. He has the power of rainbows. This is uh, pretty awesome. He, he kind of looks like a leprechaun actually, so that means he may have gold powers, but I mean these rainbows are actually pretty sweet. If you jump on them, they go down. So you have to like walk on them. Jeez. Okay, we're all still learning. We're still learning about our powers of rainbows here. How neat is that? Oh, literally walked right into the first bug. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna start to do a lot better at this. We're on world one, X one, and I I'm gonna do better at this game than Bubble Bobble. I've decided because this is a sequel and this is the game that I actually wanted to play before I played Bubble Bobble. But again, Bubble Bobble is the first game in this series, and I can't in good conscience play a sequel without first playing the original. So that leads us to where we are today. Uh, and yeah, you may be asking yourself, what does this have to do with Bubble Bobble? Because guess what? That's the exact same question that I had. This seems to have absolutely nothing in common, common with Bubble Bobble. It has a totally different mechanic, this whole rainbow thing. Uh, bad guys still turn into snacks when you kill them, but it's not even the same bad guys from Bubble Bobble. So like, what gives? Um, and we were experiencing some, experiencing some classic video game slowdown just there, if you were noticing, where uh, the game slowed down because there were too many sprites on the screen. Anyway, so this is a sequel to Bubble Bobble because, guess what? You are playing as the same characters as Bubble Bobble. Yes, this little midget here is indeed the dragon from Bubble Bobble. I don't know how I feel about that. Geez, it really slows down here. This is very interesting. Like, this is just how people played it. Um, yeah, I mean, did they really need to make a, a connection between this and Bubble Bobble? Couldn't the two games have just stood on their own? Like, what, what kind of value does this add being a sequel to Bubble Bobble? It literally has nothing to do with it. So yeah, I don't know, it's... It's kind of like a, a cop-out in my opinion. This doesn't feel like a sequel in any sense. It'd be like if I made a sequel to uh, Halo and it was just a real-time strategy game. Which, I mean, I guess they did, but people didn't consider it like an official sequel or anything like that. What's happening to the screen here? It's like lightning is coming down and kind of killing everything. World is freaking out. Okay, here we go. Back to normality. Killing these guys. I contemplated playing this on the arcade because arcade games always look so much prettier than the console uh, versions of the day. But you don't really get the same experience when you when you always play arcade games. Because guess what? When I was a kid, and when many of us played these games for the first time, we didn't play them in the arcades. We wish we could have played them in, in places that had better graphics, uh, but we just didn't. So we played them on... This would be the game that you would play at home. So I kind of want to capture that with my series, and that's uh, that's why I'm kind of mixing it up and sometimes playing crappier versions, quote unquote, of uh, different games. Uh, but you know, really like the home console versions, they're never that crappy. They're still pretty good. I guess maybe one way I could be helping the game is by killing my rainbows when I'm done with them, because I just kind of like I, I I'm like a I'm like the laziest kind of like game hero ever. I'm barely jumping, I'm just like spawning rainbows and slowly walking up. Like, look at that. Let's kill these rainbows. Like how he's a little like, you know, he like flaps his wings when he when he's kind of falling down there. 
slows his descent. I wish Mario did that. That'd be kind of a cool, cool thing for him to do. So this is one of the games that kind of help define what a video game... Hey! That guy jumped away from my rainbows. What the heck? It's one of the games that help define what a video game is. And so, you know, blue... And this is from the book. Okay, so this lightning stuff is some kind of power-up I picked up. The screen's just going schizophrenic here. Like, I don't even see a coherent lightning bolt, but... You know, I guess it's there, because these guys are just dying. Okay, and what what are those letters? A-N. It used to just be A. Am I slowly spelling something here? In, in Bubble Bobble, you have to spell extend to get an extra life. So what am I spelling here? There's a good old Rainbow Bright dude spelling. Also, imagine being a game hero and you had to explain, you know, to like a girl. You're like, well, my powers are kind of like rainbows. And it's like the most... It's not a very masculine uh, power. I mean, these days, you probably get away with it. Goal in. What does that mean? Does it mean go in there? Goal in. I mean, it means I've reached the goal. Very clear. So what does the potion do? Nothing. Uh, I do like that if you fall down here, the screen will scroll with you, so you won't just fall to your death. That was one thing that I always hated in video games. How when the screen scrolled up, if you fell down, you just died. But this game kind of got that part right. Anyway, so this uh, game helped define what a game is. You know, it has the uh, blue skies, bright colors, cute animals, and uh, running, jumping, elaborate bosses. This is all what the book says about the game. And it's true, like, you know, you could show this in a movie, and people would just kind of know that this is like a very stereotypical video game. Even if they didn't know this was a real game. They'd just be like, yep, that's a video game. Kind of shooting rainbows, killing guys, collecting these weird power-up thingies. Looks like a game. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of interesting. The main, So, I already said that the main character in this game is the same as the one from Bubble Bobble. And what that means is that... Okay, I found out... I said in Bubble Bobble, the main character's names... They, they were humans who were converted into uh, dragons by... Ooh, we have a boss. So, they were humans who were converted into dragons by some, like, evil wizard or something. And this is like the easiest boss ever. That was hard. That was a boss? I, like, I have like this little McDonald's rainbow. Double little fun, laddie. Okay, so, so the main character, this is Bub. Tanks? Jeez, went from like little animals to like... That's hardcore. Like a tank. Uh, the main character is named Bub and Bob and Bubble Bobble. And they were humans that were transformed into dragons. And I guess in this version you play as the human form of the dragons, which explains why this is not a dragon. You know, I said it was the same character from the first game, but it's clearly not a dragon, he's a human. But guess what? Their first names aren't even really Bub and Bob. That was, I guess, just the names when they were in dragon form. Their human names are Bubby and Bobby, and that's just a short form. Their full names are Bubblin and Boblin. Okay. I know the game designers have probably long since retired, but I'm speaking just to them right now. What were you on? Seriously, Bubblin and Boblin? And, and if that wasn't bad enough, why does like every single version of the character have to have another strange variation of the name? It's way too much time spent on the names of these characters. Here's an idea. They're named Bubble and Bobble because the game is called Bubble and Bobble. Problem solved. There are no other names. They are just Bubble and Bobble. Or in fact, this main guy, his name is Bubble Bobble. That's all you need. Bubble Bobble. I mean, I guess it didn't hurt them by focusing on all this story to, like, develop a, an actually interesting game. I mean, we're just flying through the levels here, but honestly, bubbling and bobbling. I wonder how far we could actually get in this game. So with Bubble Bobble, I had to continue several times. With this game, I'm just gonna... Just gonna say, I'm just gonna see how far I can get. As I just died. 
I do have like five lives though, which is pretty insane. I don't know how I got those. You know you're pretty boss at video games when you're like not even really sure how you're getting all the extra lives you're getting, but you just totally are. So like, it's not a big thing. Just like pretty sweet at these games. With my like badass rainbow here. Imagine like being a tank and being killed by a rainbow. Oh, what the? Wow, I got I got way too cocky there. I, I thought I was all like tough killing tanks with rainbows, but apparently they were suckering me in. I can hear you. There you go. But yeah, okay, like imagine being this tank and then literally a rainbow just kills you. That's like you you have to make something up when you go hang out with the other tanks later on that day. You have to be like, yeah, I don't know, like a bomb got me. It was pretty intense. I think it was a nuke. I mean, because I just don't go down for anyone, you know, like, it's pretty intense, actually. I don't think anyone could survive that. Like a rainbow? Being killed by a rainbow is worse than a rainbow being your, like, power. You know, like, this guy, yeah, he shoots rainbows, but he shoots rainbows that kill people. That's, that's like, you know, as, as bad as it sucks for him to, like, kind of have this kind of power of shooting rainbows. God! <sighs> I'm like getting all distracted. I'm getting like so metaphysical. Like, yeah, I mean, like, think about what it means to like shoot a rainbow and kill someone. And like, meanwhile, as I'm doing that, I am not paying enough attention and I'm dying. I'd like to get pretty far in this game though, because I don't feel like it's too challenging. That's not a bad game. I don't know. I'm I'm doing okay so far. I'm kind of enjoying myself. And we will see where this all where this leads. We should have that double rainbow. I don't even understand how to get power ups in this game. Okay, you have to go. And you. And we need to get all the potions, all the power ups. Yes, that's that was the power up I needed. I'd like to get one more, so I have a triple rainbow. I mean, right now I have Double Rainbow, which, I mean, anyone who's seen the YouTube video, Double Rainbow, all the way across the sky, I mean, just so beautiful, so vivid. Double Rainbow. That video, like, got huge. I wonder why. I want a Double Rainbow video. What do I have to do? Somebody tell me. How do I, how do I be the next Double Rainbow Man? I will do it. I, I'll film a triple rainbow if I have to. I'll, uh, I'll film a single rainbow. I don't know. What is the next double rainbow? I'm sure it's, like, not even a rainbow. The next meme will be, like, I don't know, a guy eating a lot of steaks. And then, uh, regretting it or something. I don't know. What's funny is, like, I could go through this trouble in there and, like, try and, oh, well, I don't know. Let's do it. I was gonna say I could like go in there and like risk bodily harm, or I could just sit on the outside spawning rainbows forever and climb kind of really cheaply. But you know what? We could do we could mix it up. We could kind of do half of half, half of each, spawn rainbows infinitely, but still be really cheap. Like, look at this! You don't even have to jump! This guy? That's crazy. Attack! Choppy! I feel like I'm fighting a child's playset. Honestly, like... This literally looks like a six-year-old's, or like a two-year-old's toy, even. And like, how's this thing supposed to threaten me? It hasn't even gotten over to my side of the map yet, and it's dead. That is the easiest boss I've ever played against in my life. And I shouldn't complain. I honestly shouldn't complain. Because whatever makes my life easier. I mean, we're, guys, we're on level three. I've never played this before. We're just crushing it. Oh, now we're fighting vampires that shoot fireballs. Guess what, buddy? I shoot a rainbow. And rainbow beats fireball every time. It's kind of like the rock of rock, paper, scissors. Busts up scissors, flies through paper. I mean, nothing beats rock. 
sec here. Yeah, what do we got? Oh jeez. Man, he can jump really high. Oh. Now we just kind of climb into the sky. So just like any typical game about a kid climbing into the sky for eternity, this game focuses heavily on sort of the rainbow aspect of, uh, oh god, of climbing forever. I wonder, like, I was going to say, could you ever actually walk in a rainbow? That's what a stupid question. Like, <laughs> of course the answer is no, it's just light. Though in Portal 2, they did have, like, light bridges. I mean, why would I ever jump in this game? I just spam the rainbows. What was that cereal? It was like Taste the Rainbow. So Lucky Charms. No, wait. Taste the Rainbow. That's Skittles! Lucky Charms, man. What was I thinking? One more power ups, man. Need faster rainbows and more. I'm addicted to rainbows. This guy, he he like he's like I need more rainbows. It's like cocaine to him. All I dream about are rainbows. The double rainbow is not enough. Starting to look like a triple rainbow. Game kind of makes me want to watch that video again, actually. So we have blown through the early levels, killing tons of wildlife. We've gone through tanks, ships. Now we're kind of in some medieval dungeon with literal skeletons hanging around. We've killed a child's helicopter and bumblebee toy. Now, I don't know what the heck we're doing here. It looks like a ghost head down there or something. Okay, hold on. Let's try Dracula. Nice try. But what are those guys? They look like um, one-eyed dudes. Oh, but they shoot other dudes. Nobody shoots another dude in my town. I want this thing. I mean, you never know... You never know what's going to be useful in these games. It, I find it very difficult to know what kind of power-ups, like, I should be looking for. Like, I don't know, is this shoe good? What does this helmet do? I don't know. I mean, I lost that blue diamond because I'm fast enough. Oh, oh, that was so stupid. I told, I didn't know I was supposed to avoid that. Well, at least it didn't start me at the. Oh, but I lost my double rainbow. <sighs> so sad. Pretty much the saddest thing that's ever happened to me. No, that was that—that that was the saddest thing. Oh no, we're down to we're down to one life. How did we get five lives? Because we need to do that again. I wonder if there's gonna be continues or like this is it. It's kind of like a a one and done kind of deal. Oh, that'd be so sad. I'd be really torn about whether to play this game again and get farther or whether we would just call it a day. Almost died there again. There we go. What the? Get out of here. So if you ever thought Mario was weird eating mushrooms and becoming huge, you ain't never played Rainbow Islands. Damn. I knew that potion was something, but it disappeared before I got to it. You know what? So in the last video, I talked about um, you know things that were kind of weird in games, and one thing that I never mentioned back when I played Opa Opa is that the stories in that game were kind of like disembodied, just portals floating around. We kind of take it for granted in games that stores are just these like weird portals that you enter, you know, and they sell like three items. Like what what real store does that? But especially in Opa Opa, it's like. It's a portal floating around that just reads store. I mean, like, how much sketchier can you get, honestly? Uh, it's, it's just such, so, like, 
weird. And and again, like if a store actually did that with no like stable location, how would you ever have repeat customers? Just doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't know. And like in in this game, and I mean this is this is by no means you know just in this game, but another kind of big trope of video games is like characters all looking the same. It's like. How many of these, like, Dracula dudes have I killed? And that was a flying one, so he was kind of, like, special. But I've killed so many of those, uh, ogres. I've killed so many of those Draculas. I mean, the whole thing in games were, like... You're literally, like, kind of, like, always fighting a clone army. And we just kind of, like, accept it in games. I mean, it was... It's obviously a limitation, because you can only have so many sprites, but, like, I wonder if one day they'll fix that, and every bad guy will kind of look a little unique. Because, I mean, you know, that... I mean, that's the way it should be, obviously. But who knows? Who knows about such things? Wait. Ah, uh, the power-ups disappear when you scroll up. They were, like, shoes that I wanted. This money can be used for anything. What do you buy when... Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, back at the bottom. <sighs> oh, my God. What's happening? Start jumping. I feel like the rainbow's... Kind of letting us down a bit. Hey, R-A-I-N. We're spelling rainbow. But to what end? Oh, wow, I, I went from like really understanding this game to like, now I'm like for weirdly trapped here. Okay, let's do this. There we go. Ooh, ghosts. Those kind of look like Casper. He's a friendly ghost, but we are not friendly ghost hunters. What does it take to get a triple rainbow around here? What's a guy gotta do, huh? Whose butt does he have to kiss? How many generic looking birds or bats does he have to kill? Man, this is really just like a uh, just spam rainbows kind of game. You know, very typical, kind of like you just spam rainbows to the end. Uh oh. Clearly, I'm not going fast enough. Oh, I'm at the end, buddy. Calm down. Calm down, game. I'm at the goal in. Goal in? Like, what does that mean? Ugh. You know, I got so cocky at this game when I saw that we had, like, five lives on, like, level one. We earned them. Since then, I don't know how to get an extra life, first of all. Uh, another problem... Not only do I not know how to get another life at this stage, but we have lost most of those lives that we somehow earned. So we are in dire straits here. And if things don't pick up soon, I don't feel like Bubble Bobble is gonna make it. Wait. Oh yeah, the whole press start to continue in this really. Oh, we started level three. With three lives. Damn it, but we have to go through all this again. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go one more continue. Because hey, you know what? We come this far. We kinda wanna see what's on this rainbow island. Oh man. That took some dodging skills. It's funny because in this game, they literally could take out the jump option, and I probably wouldn't notice the difference. Like, look at this. What am I doing here? I don't know. This guy's like a rainbow walker. I've kind of stopped collecting power-ups since I've used the continue. Is that a smart thing or a stupid thing? Like this, how fast can we get to where we were is basically what I want to know. I want to do it fast. Like, look at the strategy. You could just fly through this game. Just past one level. Barely did a thing. Get all these... Okay, what, sort of, what should our goal be here? 
I say our goal should be kind of to rush back to where we were. It kind of feels like when you continue a video game and it like puts you back a little while, you kind of don't have the same like commitment you did to doing the level well the first time. Like you did the first time. So you kind of like rush through it and I mean maybe this is just me. But you just, you don't have the patience to do it all over again. So I mean damn the cost. Even if we get back to where we were with no power-ups, like, at least we'll have three lives, so we're already ahead of where we were. Uh, God. <sighs> Wait. Did you start with four lives? How the heck did I get an extra life? Ugh. Okay. We got this, guys. I'm gonna let that vampire live so he can tell his friends what happens if you mess with me. There's like so many rainbows, it's like lagging the game out. Uh, we do want to get the sneakers though, because they will speed us up. For that guy. So you too, buddy. Oh man. easy. Once you get into a groove, it's all... Damn it! Every... Have you noticed a trend in my videos where when I'm not really saying anything, when the when the audio kind of slows down, I tend to do better, and then I, when, as soon as I start doing better, I start talking about doing better, and I invariably do worse. It's like, it, it's like uncanny, without fail. Every time I think I'm doing better or something, I open my big fat mouth, and all of a sudden I do worse. Yet somehow I got an extra life there. I don't understand it. Maybe going through levels fast is what gives you lives. Okay, so we're just gonna go fast, because apparently that's how you get lives. I've decided. It gets so laggy when you have a whole bunch of those rainbows up there. I wonder if you could, like, reason with these ogres. Like, are they just mindless, you know, automatons? Or are they, like... Do they have, like, in, you know, personal reasons for, like, getting involved in this rainbow war? Because if you could reason with them, I would choose diplomacy. I'm kind of like Picard in that way. You know, Kirk was all about just sort of... Going in Arnie style and like blasting everyone. And he also like you know like to sleep with all the green alien women. Picard, he slept with a few alien women, but he he used diplomacy whenever he could. Oh man, you sneaky ghost! You tried to drop fire on me. A, I didn't know you could do that, and B, shame on you. Ah, my rainbow skills are failing me. Must. Climb out of here. Yeah, like honestly, why have a jump button in this game? It seems rather redundant. I'm gonna go out on a limb. Clue through. Okay, let's see if we can do the next level without a single jump. I know, I think the next level is the one where we died. We're really gonna try without a single jump. And I earned a life! So collecting all those stupid power-ups really doesn't do anything. Just rush through all the levels. And if you kind of think about it, so we go left, left, right. Oh no. The ghosts kind of mess up your ability to just kind of stay on one side here, but you could just do this back and forth. Ah. Oh. oh no, okay. Oh god. Whenever you land on a rainbow, it like knocks them all down, so you kind of have to be very careful of that. I have not jumped yet though, and I think I can stick to it. Oh, that is right where we died last time, the stupid cow has it drops fireballs. Okay, we gotta remember about that. Like I could be jumping here, look at all these platforms, but like, 
I kind of have the laziest video game hero ever. He's like the video game hero who... Oh shit, okay, I gotta jump. Wow. So much for doing this without jumping. So that cow head, it really just shoots fireballs that follow you at home. Anyway, I was gonna say my guy's kind of like the lazy version of Mario. He doesn't really jump. He's not big on cardio. He doesn't run. He just likes spawning rainbows in front of him and eating the fruits that his enemies turn into when he hits them with a rainbow. I mean, I will go for those running shoes. I think I got to. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, this guy's like... He's like the couch potato Mario. He's like, I mean, I guess I'll go on a platforming adventure as long as all the platforms spawn right in front of me and kill enemies when they do. Then yeah, I guess I could, I guess I could go on a platform adventure. Just go as fast as you can, man. Let's see if you get extra lives anyway. Oh, cow head! Ah, stupid cow head. Okay, we got this. We got this, guys. I just, I, the cow heads kind of like blend into the background. I hate when they have enemies that do that. It's like, they should flash or something when they're about to shoot, so it's a little more obvious. Oh no! Oh man. Oh, I can kill the cow heads? Oh, that would have been useful to know. Finding fangs. This is the two year old whose helicopter I, I broke, basically. He looks like he's eating a lot of chocolate. There's lots of chocolate around his mouth. Ah, damn it. I died. Okay. Ah! I couldn't get away fast enough. No, one life fangs. Okay, guys, this is intense. This is like River City Ransom intense. Oh, man. Oh, I, I walked me up the stupid rainbow. Oh, it starts me back at Fangs. Oh, I thought we were going to have to do that all over again. You know what? Props to this game for being forgiving. Because in the context of, you know... Oh, God! In the context of my love, my skill level is very nice for it to be forgiven. Why the hell? It like auto walks you up with these rainbows sometimes, and it's not, it's not too inconvenient when you're, you know, just trying to rush through levels as I often am. But when you're trying to kill a stupid vampire, it's very inconvenient. That guy was like surprisingly hard. I don't know, like, okay. Hmm. Now we're in some kind of, like, mechanical apocalypse zone. You know, the one thing I miss about not rushing through these levels is a double rainbow. Life just doesn't feel as good without a double rainbow. I mean, you can kill all the robots you want, eat an eggplant and a couple of purple diamonds, while you kill a, what is this, a, a nut? Like a nut and bolt? And you can do all that stuff, but honestly... With half the rainbows in your life, it's kind of sad. Ah, oh, freak. I can't tell from like now I'm dying for like inattentiveness, or it's getting hard, or I'm just kind of getting worn down by this game. It's hard to tell. Definitely more stuff is like happening on the screens. And with only one life, there's like no way I'm going to get to the boss. So I think this is probably the farthest level I'm going to get to. You know what, actually, if I if I like really, really wanted to, I could keep going probably and get to a much farther level. Because, again, props to this game with the infinite continues and stuff, that is very nice. It is nice being able to continue the boss. So in terms of pros and cons, you know, one pro is... The, the game mechanic in this, the whole shooting the rainbows thing, is kind of satisfying. Definitely is kind of satisfying. It's not hard, it's easy to learn, and then it kind of opens up a lot of interesting things. 
I feel like they didn't kind of push it far enough, honestly. Like, you could have done even more with this rainbow thing. But you know, it is what it is. Um, and the sort of infinite continues, at least on this one, is really nice. Bubble Bobble, one reason I think I had a really hard time motivating myself to, to really get far in that game was that, you know, you die a couple times and that's just it. There was no way to continue. Um, so yeah. In terms of cons, ooh, oh god. Ugh. In terms of cons, the jump mechanics are... They're not great. Ah, Damn it. Hey, wait, did I get two extra lives? That's weird. Um, it's also, like, the levels... I mean, I guess now we're getting into some, like, interesting level design a bit. But, like, it's not that complicated. And every kind of level can be beaten by basically the strategy of just rushing through it. And... I mean, I guess as I say that, I mean, this level can't really be. But still, I don't know, like, especially the levels I was on before, you really didn't have to do much. You could just sort of, oh, God, rainbow yourself through it. That's another con right there. Enemies that, like, you've never seen before, and before you even have a chance to react, they've killed you. And so, like, the first time you ever encounter that, that's super annoying, just honestly. So yeah, I don't know, I, I kind of have mixed feelings about this game. However, unlike Bubble Wobble, which I said you did not have to play before you die, I would say definitely give Rainbow uh, Islands here a chance. It's kind of an interesting game. It's definitely more interesting than I thought, and I do completely agree with the book, um, The Thousand One Games Must Play Before You Die. I agree with its, it's sort of... Uh, statement that this is sort of a stereotypical game. It helped define what a video game was with these sort of bright colors and like uh, You know colorful bad guys and these, these jumping mechanics, but the simplicity to the whole thing Yeah, definitely. This is totally what a video game is supposed to be or a what you know what classically what a video game was anyway games these days are far more complicated So in terms of my own personal recommendation should you play this before you die? Yes, I say yes. Go out, give old uh, Rainbow Islands here a try. The strange, the very, very strange sequel to Bubble Bobble. Because again, I don't get how this is a sequel. It shares none of the same gameplay mechanics. You know, Mario 2 was always, the, U the USA one, was always quoted as being like a very strange sequel to Mario 1. And it's kind of the black sheep of the series. Because Mario 3 is kind of closer to Mario 1 than it is Mario 2. But at least it was still a platformer. You know, I mean, Bubble Bobble just seems like a completely different game than this. Mario 1 and 2 both had worlds, they both had bosses. You know, sort of the general structure of the game on many levels is the same. This is totally different. This is not the Bubble Bobble that I remember. What are these things? Floating robot heads. So I did my sort of pros and cons and should you play. Oh man, I thought I was going to die there. Because uh, I didn't think I would last much longer. Interestingly, I am lasting much longer. So, we don't really have too much that we have to talk about. What would you guys like to talk about? Um, here's one question for you. What do you like most about what I talk about in my videos? I try to mix it up to do all, all kinds of things. And, and a lot of times when I'm talking, I'm literally just talking off the top of my head. But I also kind of... Think about, you know, what kinds of things I could talk about that would be interesting for you guys. You know, and, and in case you haven't noticed, like, I tend to, like, like looking up trivia and telling you guys sort of interesting facts about games. I kind of like ripping on games and dissecting them a little bit to, to say, you know, like, wouldn't it be strange if this is actually real? Because there's so many things in games that are just really weird, and it's kind of funny to, like, um, think about them. And, you know, sometimes we make up little stories for our, our characters here. Like, I mean, this guy, you know, the, the, the visual story is he's trying to save, like, the Rainbow Islands here. But maybe, you know, maybe he's he's just sort of like a guy who's, like, on home, heading home to see his kid on the weekend. He's just, like, having a bad day. And, like, the rainbows are, like, a metaphor for, like, his, like, lost childhood. Or, yeah, like, maybe this is a guy, like, who's, uh... Who's in a coma 
And this whole game is like a metaphor. This is like him fighting for his life. And like the rainbows are like him fighting against depression. And like the tanks are like, you know, him accepting corporate America. And just like becoming part of the machine and, you know, all, who knows? I mean, I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. But basically, you know, I guess I kind of make up random stories like that sometimes too. I don't know, I... 99% of the time, I'm just talking off the top of my head. But I guess one question is, what do you guys find interesting? What do you like about these videos? If you indeed do like them. Because hey, if you tell me what you like, I might be able to create more of what you like. So yeah, go ahead and give me some feedback. I'm like rocking it. I, I thought I was down to one life. I now have two. Oh, but you know what? I just cursed myself because I said how good I was doing. We all know what happens now. Now I die. Oh man. I almost died right there. Forget the shoes. Let's just go. Because... Oh man. It's getting tricky. Eggplants. Eggplants have got to be like the absolute worst power-up you could, uh, you could put in a game. Like no kid want- kids want like ice cream, you know, hamburgers. An eggplant? Really? It looks- it just even looks gross. Double rainbow? Yes! I got my double rainbow back. I don't know, like <laughs> maybe maybe I'm gonna go maybe I'm gonna go all the way with this thing, guys. I, I thought I thought this was over. I should do I for every single game that I think I'm doing bad at, I should just do a summary when I think the game's about over. Because clearly it helps. I would like to know what this guy hopes to find at the top of the sky here. Cause he's, cause, so Bubble Bobble, you're kind of going down into a dungeon forever. This guy's going up. This is a much more positive kind of game. Bubble Bobble is kind of scary. You're going down to a dark, dirty dungeon. I don't know what's down there. This guy's reaching for the stars, literally. Oh, pfft. And I'm dead. Oh, I suck. Two lives left. When did, I wonder when they started phasing scores out of games. Cause it definitely has happened. Scores are, are real, you know, they're not really a big part of games anymore, and a lot of games don't even have scores. I wonder when that, like, what was the pivotal year when, like, there were more games without scores than with? It's definitely the high score that I have right now, like, who cares? Like, 100 points for those shoes, yay. I wish it was 200, you know, like, I don't know. Oh, nice try, screw. Nice try, wrench. I'm at a, I'm at a boss. Big diamonds. Hey, this is bomber man. This is the kid whose toys I've been breaking. He's like loaded up into his spaceman suit to be like, come fight me. But you're no match for the power of love. My guy looks like a little, uh, a little dork. <laughs> like, honestly. He's kind of like in, like, green suspenders with, like, a dorky hat. Whoa. Oh. Well, oh, that serves me right. Wow. What? Where are we? Oh, no. Get away, you things. Run for your life, rainbow boy. Bub or Bob or whichever the heck one you are. What are those? It's DNA! What? Oh. God damn. I'm like tempted to continue because I'm like so close. No, no, no. I got to cut it. It's like a 40 minute video we got here. Guys, this has been Bubble... No, wait, not Bubble Bobble. This has been Rainbow Islands. It's the sequel to Bubble Bobble, so it's Bubble Bobble 2, but it is not Bubble Bobble. Can you say Bubble Bobble more times in the sense it's talking about the sequel to Bubble Bobble, but not actually talking about Bubble Bobble? I don't think so. I've been your host, Gaming J. If you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and, I, and give me a like, give me a subscribe, and as always, I'll be back in a couple of days with a new game. Until then, guys, peace.